Hello and welcome to Sports by Compion. My name, of course, is Stephen Compion, and I'm joined here by my co-host, the guy who knows about stuff and things, even sometimes. Mr. Corey Compion is here in the house with us, even though his beautiful face is. How are you, Corey? Doing fantastic. It's possibly just one more podcast until my face is back. I will be Whoa. flying back to the great US of A very Whoa. shortly. Where well, I will have my my webcam. He'll be back, people. That's right. You out there who've been craving it, dying for it, ask about it. It's coming back. Don't worry. Back in room number 99. I can stay there right. for You're a right. lifetime. True, he could, but he won't. But anyway, we are going to go ahead and talk about some NFL football, Corey. Uh, a little bit of Carfu, too. Just briefly talk about some sad things that happened over the weekend in Carfu, and then we're going to move on. So, yeah, like and subscribe because this is good stuff, and uh, you know, we do a lot of good stuff. The beard looks like a mess today, Corey. I don't know what's going on. It's sad for me. Anyway, uh, Carfu. Um, I don't really know fault. what happened with the rest of the league because it's sad, and I haven't looked around, and frankly, the Ravens are out of it. We got absolutely spanked by the Chicago Riot at home, 45-7. The boys just were not ready for uh, the Riot. Dude, no other way to describe it. That is just a really good team. They don't make a lot of mistakes, and they just – do veteran shit, and uh, that's what they did against the Ravens. We got our absolute kick, teeth kicked in, and that was that for our season, for our year. Sad, Corey. Very sad. So even if you sweep, there's no uh, no playoffs. Now we're done, though. We already lost three games. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> it's a bummer. Yeah, we could still end with a winning season, though. But yeah, it seems unlikely at this point with uh, two very hard games coming up. But anyway, that's that for Car Food, Corey. Let's hop into the NFL, which um, went better for sports by Compion people, at least. Right? This is true. Most of the things I wanted to happen happened. Yeah. Yeah. So Cowboys take care of business against the Giants, finally get back on track with a win. <laughs> we nibbled <them laughs> out a terrible team. We... <laughs> it was great. Dude, what is going on, man? With the most good. heavily penalized game of football probably in NFL history. Wow. Really? Dude, every goddamn play was a flag, but it was like always offsetting flags. Like, I don't know what these like Amazon Prime refs were on, but like everything that's all like, that's not allowed. We can't be having that. <laughs> Dude, like they're out there having fun. That's not. No, listen, you, oh, we can't have that. That's not allowed. Well, C.D. Lamb looked like he finally had a decent day. C.D. Lamb, I remember last week I, I, you know, threw some shade. I was like, he definitely gave up on us, and it was a bummer. He apparently had a press conference somewhere in the week where he was like, yeah, no, I didn't handle that very maturely. That's my bad. I'm going to come out, and I'm going to be a leader. And, like, you know, he, he took he took ownership of it. So I was like, all right, Lamb. You know, I like you cool. again now. I was briefly mad because you gave up on us. But, but now that you're back, I, I'm okay with it. Cool. Well, that is good. Um, yeah, so they take care of business against the Giants. Um, you know, Daniel Jones did some stuff, but not quite enough. Dude, this guy, Robinson, I just picked him up in my fantasy. He's doing pretty damn good. 11 receptions for the lad? Like, hell yeah. 14 targets. He really only throws a D. The Malik neighbors are this guy, apparently. Darius Slayton is a forgotten past person. Yeah, they, there's sometimes just, you know, not enough, not enough pl- balls to go around this is true Corey. that is true but anyway yeah the cowboys are back at two and two after some really rough losses in a row they needed that one huh yeah if we had lost to the the giants that would be particularly big sad for me it, it oh, was you season. know <laughs> i don't know about that but definitely not a good start no well, speaking of division rivals, um, the Falcons have taken down New Orleans in Atlanta. Right? Yeah, this game was in Atlanta with a last-second kick by Young Waiku. Very, very long one for him. What, what, how long was that? Falcons were looking at. <clears throat> Who, how long was your kick, buddy? I want to say it was like 60, but Brandon Aubrey had a 65-er. Waiku long was 58. I'm not actually not that long. All right, but so that way, finally... That's pretty long, actually. I finally found the answer. It was 15 flags. So 15 flags were thrown on the Cowboys Giants game. That's a lot. It's a, it's a lot. It's more than you want. Yeah, it's a lot. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of flags. 
<clears throat> anyway, on to this game. Um, so Tyler Algier gets one more carry than, than uh, Robinson, which probably pissed off a lot of fantasy owners, but he was actually doing something with the ball, so you can see why he got one more carry. Uh, Kirk Cousins is pretty average, but it's enough to get a win. And the Saints, um, Cousins is also pretty average. Uh, pretty average game all around. There wasn't a lot of scoring in this one till the very end. Uh, that was but Atlanta pulls it off. There was, uh, there was a pretty great stat I saw about this, though. Uh, there hadn't been a, a murder in New Orleans for the last three weeks while well, they were, you know, on that win streak. And then the night they lost, it was the first murder. So it's like, <laughs> there's there's now blood on Kirk Cousins' hands because he well, beat them. It wasn't even Kirk Cousins. It was, they lost the previous week. Oh, right. I guess, yeah, last week they lost was, was the first murder in, like, you know, two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, tough times for whoever that was. Um, sorry uh, they lost. Um, speaking of two teams that were nibbling at each other, um, the Panthers – I mean, I'm sorry, the Bengals finally get a win, Corey. Did you see that play with Jamar Chase just basically ran over the whole Panthers defense? They're just like, nah, dude, we don't want to tackle you. I did not, really but it does seem likely given the amount of terrible tackling I've seen this season. There was some really bad tackling this season. You're not wrong. At least, but especially these Panthers, dude. Like three dudes just literally bounced right off of him, and he was just like, "All right," and I'm gonna run the rest of you guys. And they were like, "Okay, well, we'll see you later then." Oh, he's fast and he's strong. That's awkward for us. Okay, bye. Bye. The in the end zone. The disposed card. Yeah. So Andy Dalton did okay. You know, nothing too crazy. One interception, uh, two touchdowns though. Um, Johnny Hector get, got in there. Out of boy Hector. But a Chuba Hubbard had a decent day as well. Devonta Johnson's still doing well. So I wouldn't hit the panic button for these Panthers. I don't think they are. I think they're, they're pretty happy with the performance overall. If you're a Panthers fan, you're breathing. I mean, a uh, Bengals fan, you're breathing a huge sigh of relief here that your team is at 0 and 4. Because holy cow. <laughs> But this is also – well, I mean, the Panthers were the worst team of the league for two weeks, and then all of a sudden they remembered how to play football. So, like, it's kind of hard to place them in space right now, but it would have been really bad if they had lost this game. It would have been really bad if they were 0-4. Like, that just yeah. that would have been a really, really bad look for them. So they needed that win pretty desperately. Uh, good for them to get back on track. Speaking of teams that are 2-2 two and two and nobody knows why, the Chicago Bears are 2-2, two and two, Corey. What exactly is happening – and what what are the Rams? Who are they? What do they mean? They're they're just everybody and uh, their mother got hurt and they're playing backups. So they're just it's basically at this point an XFL team just playing in the NFL with ah. you know Matthew Stafford throwing the ball. Yeah, wasn't <laughs> Matthew Tutu Stafford I, I, throwing the ball at XFL players? Wasn't wasn't Tutu I well at an XFL player? I think you're right. Yeah, it. I mean. They lost Aaron Don Arnold. They lost Cooper Cup. They lost Puka Nakua. I think they lost a couple dudes on the defense. Like th- their whole roster is just hurt, which they might do the uh, the Bengals thing, where just like everybody forgets about them because everybody's hurt and they're terrible. And then late in the season, they're gonna be like, "Oh no, everyone's healthy now. Now we're like, you know, an NFL team. Well, everyone else is hurt, so now we're gonna win now. So they might be somebody later. They're not somebody right now, but mm-hmm. in the future maybe. In the future maybe. <clears throat> Swift had a good day running the ball, uh, but a particularly good carry that they took to the end zone, just bouncing off people. So the run game is starting to get going down there with the, with the Bears. They had over 100 yards today. the other day. Swift also had seven receptions. Hell of a day for Swift. Yeah. Over, like, like, yeah, over like 170? Yeah, pretty cool. Good day for him. Uh, and yeah, Stafford continues to go to nobody. Tough day at the office for him. Although he's took a pretty decent. Yeah, he's anyway. uh, he's just used to playing on bad teams. He was like, it was nice whenever I had that that one little you know year or two with the dream team. Now I'm back to business as usual. This game got crazy, dude, because the Vikings were like 28-0 at one point, you know. So the the Packers came storming back in that fourth quarter, a little bit too little, too late. Um, but. Yeah, Jordan Love looked a little rusty at first, but, I mean, it's hard to deny four touchdowns even if he did have three interceptions. Pretty crazy stat line from the boy, for sure. Looking like uh, James Winston out there. Yeah, Aaron Jones had a good get day against the uh, against his former team. Justin Jefferson just continues to do the Justin Jefferson things. Like, he just looks ridiculous out there. Nobody can cover him. And, yeah, Sam Darnold with three touchdowns. He did have one interception, did lose one fumble, but overall – 
uh, it continues to just do enough to win games, Core. Yeah. Is he, gonna be, is he a front runner for MVP? Uh, it's, I don't. Well, I mean, who else really is doing well? Just I, give it to Patty not. Mahomes. What are we doing? You know. Yeah. Just give he's, it back to Patty Mahomes again. He's got the black magic, you know. Bro, I started the fucking uh, what's it called? The Packers kicker, and he missed two field goals. He had negative two points for me at one point. I was like, oh, "Thanks, good. bro." And then you know the guy was playing against like he he ended the day with two points. I think uh, the Packers kicker, no one. He got me one point. And uh, the guy I was playing against kicker uh, McPherson got him 13. So that was the difference in the game right there, Corey. Yeah, who knew it was going to be decided by the kickers? Dude, and he was doing fine until that, until he just absolutely sucked this week. So, yeah, shout out. What's his fucking name? Kicker Brandon Nearson. Appreciate you absolutely sucking against the Vikings. And plus, your two kicks were definitely the difference, bud. Look at this. Missed field goal. Missed field goal, and they lost by two points. So not only did you cost me my fantasy game, but you also cost your team the actual game. Right, right. Really, pretty, a letdown overall. Pretty big letdown, dude. You. Uh, I think it's more egregious that he messed up your fantasy league than that he messed I, up. I would 100% game. agree, but he did also let down the Packers. So the Jaguars <laughs> were like kind of leading this game for like most of the game. You know, Trevor Lawrence was like, dude, we're not going to lose. Like, I don't want to be only four. Uh, but then it came apart on him, you know? CJ Stroud just did CJ Stroud stuff. Lawrence didn't even hit 170 yards. He's not completed a lot of passes. Some guy named Tank is running the ball. Like, what is going on over there for? I mean, are do they not have Travis Etienne? They do. Is he not doing cool shit? No, not really. I mean, he's doing all right. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, that's overall just kind of bummer for them. Yeah. You'd, you'd kind of hope they'd do better. CJ Stroud continues to ball out. Nico Collins it's also continues just such to ball a powerhouse out. of a team. Yeah, they are really good right now. Especially with Nico Collins just going off these early weeks. I'm guessing they recovered a buff punt because that goes punt, touchdown, then touchdown. Let's see here. Fumble. They lost one. Oh, my God. My fellow Steven lost a fumble. Dude, what are you doing? Oh my God, Steve! Oh my God! Way to fuck it up, man! Wow! Uh, Steven, but I wow. would honestly be super blown away if the Jaguars came out with this game. Like this was definitely the Texans' game to win, and it's good on Jacksonville for keeping it close with, you know, a really good team this year. Yeah, but they've been keeping a lot of things close. They need to win a game, dude. They're a mess. They're zero four. It's bad. Real bad, core. Their head well, coach is four out there. Their head coach's uh, job is getting real. He's on the hot seat, dude. I don't know who else is going for. That's a good question. I might um, just be them. Steelers or Colts, dude. You know this, this was, was a uh, bummer game, man. This was they. They really took away. Uh, there was a fumble with Justin uh, Justin Fields, where like. He got all weird with it, like it was a bad snap, and he like chased the ball down, and yeah, he, um, but his elbows down, like so the dude definitely like punches the ball, but like I'd like to think he touches, his hand crosses the entirety of Justin's body before he hits the ball. At some point, that fist had to have touched him and downed him. Like I don't know how the booth review came up with what they came up with, but that that kind of sealed the game for the Steelers. Like, they definitely played down to the Colts' level on this. Like, they didn't really do their grindy football stuff they usually do. But, uh... I believe the secondary is kind of what fell apart. They were just letting them pass whenever they wanted to. Well, I mean, footstep Joey came in. They didn't have a chance. <laughs> that's that's true. Footstep Flacco. With, uh... Bro, look at this stat line by Najee Harris. 13 carries for 19 yards. At a boy, Najee. At a boy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know if he's washed or what, but like he's just I don't think I've it. ever seen him like he does these like punishing runs for one yard. Like he's just beating the ever loving shit out of everybody on the defense for one yard. And then he goes down. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's right. gonna suck. You're gonna get a tackle, but I'm gonna make it hurt. Higgins had a good day, 113 yards, but not quite enough because yeah, Joey Flacco himself. The uh, I, I couldn't believe he was around, but yeah, he's out there, started, played, won. Well, he didn't start. He went in because Richardson got hurt. Oh yeah, he didn't start, but anyway. Of course, Richardson got hurt. That's not surprising. I think he gave himself a concussion or something like that, and it it definitely hurt, or it definitely helped the Colts by, you know, their starting quarterback getting hurt and bringing in the veteran who's definitely not their future, but will help them win games now. Basically, a Carolina situation. <clears throat> Michael that... Pittman, 113 yards. Yeah, these younger uh, quarterbacks are not looking great. Like besides C.J. Stroud, of course. It's a it's a tough tough last two draft classes. I'll give you that. Yeah, they're struggling. Struggle City in the Struggleville of the Struggleness. They're all on the bus going to Struggleville. Oh, my God, dude. Speaking of Struggleville, like Aaron Rodgers, once again on the struggle. I can't even blame him. I mean, at least they scored two more points than the Buccaneers did against this Denver defense. This Denver defense, Corey, is scary. They're really, really mean. They don't, they don't allow people to do anything. If you have any plans, they say no. If you try to like, do stuff, they say no. They they basically like looked at the Steelers and they're like, yo, can I copy your homework? And they're like, yeah, bro, that's cool. And they just they're like, they're we're not going to score, but neither can you. We're at a way more extreme level than the Steelers. I mean, it's they true. want they want ten to die, Corey. Like, <laughs> dude, did you hear about their one Nicks fucking two for sixty seven yards? I I think he had negative yards in the first half. <laughs> one touchdown though. I think that's his first touchdown pass, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. You found Court and Sutton. It might have been his first touchdown pass, I think. Um, did you hear about the fucking linebacker from the Broncos last week? Yeah, what dude, happened? He tore either like his ACL or his MCL, something like that, in the first quarter, and just plays the rest of the game. Like oh. he just he just does the next snap and then you know halftime goes into the tunnel, doesn't tell anyone, comes back out, just finishes the game. And then it's like, oh, yeah, no, I think I fucked up my knee. And now he's, like, out for the season. But he just fucking played through it like a savage. That is pretty savage. Um, I guess it wouldn't have been as close if uh, Will Lutz wouldn't have missed one. Dude, look at this sequence of events. Punt, 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 fumble. (laughs) No, fumble. Okay, so it started with the fumble and ended with the fumble in the first quarter. Just... Field goal, punt, 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 punt. field goal. Just oh, what a game, play, dude! Man. Turnover on downs, missed field goal, missed field. Oh man, that missed field goal really wow. got you. Guys. They're just trying to make it happen at the end of it. I think I saw the tail end of this game, and I, I remember being very just disgusted with everything I was seeing. <laughs> Gross, dude! What a what a terrible game. Um, oh, that's very sad for your boy Aaron Rodgers. Much like the Titans at Miami. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's a good point, too. Uh, but your type of a bucket years, Corey, took care of business. The boys took care of business on a boiling hot fucking day, dude. It was like 100-something degrees down there on the field. Don't envy anybody who had to play in that game because I played in the very hot ones. It's not fucking fun. Uh, the Eagles were struggling, dude. These guys were all, like, just getting injured, dying, literally dying in the heat. It was pretty amusing. Our home field advantage was absolutely working for us. We finally got an opening possession touchdown on our first drive, so people could stop bringing that up. Baker looked hot. Baker looked good. Just finding people in rhythm. Hits Mike Evans for a touchdown. Now Mike Evans, Corey, all-time leading scorer for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Only the third player in NFL history to do it who's not a kicker. League was franchise in, in points. Isn't that crazy? You know, you know who the other two are? Uh, wait. Uh, oh, so they're they're not kickers. Yeah, there's only three because players I'm in NFL sure history. Whoever that kicker was, Vinatieri. Adam yeah. Vinatieri. He's the all-time of the league. All right, so I'm gonna go with Jerry Rice. Nice. Uh, probably a running back. Maybe Barry yeah. Sanders. No. Barry Sanders didn't play that long. Right. Emmett Smith? Yes. Bam. Let's got go, him. dude. <laughs> you got him. Nice job. That's pretty impressive. Uh, but yeah, Barkley had a pretty decent day. He was fine in space. Uh, but the rest of the Eagles were struggle city, dude. They were just too hot. 
Jalen Hurts looked uncomfortable. We sacked him like four or five times, which is great because we've had like no sacks before that. Uh, our boy Lamonte David got yet another forced fumble for the second week in a row because he's just like that. He's a baller. He's a stud. Um, and yeah, he had two sacks, two two tackles for loss. He was just all over the place. He's doing the Lord's absolute work. Yeah, yeah, Diaby, Anthony Nelson, Vita Bea all get sacks. Logan Hall even got a sack, Corey. Can you believe it? Logan Hall finally with a sack. Our Not boys that. are struggling, so he needed that to try on with no, with no stack. But, you know, overall good day. Uh, Trey Farmer found the end zone as well. Uh, Chris Godwin with tons of catches as usual. Bucky Irving with um, the exact same amount of carry yards as Rashad White. Both of them had 10 carries for 49 yards exactly. Isn't that kind of weird? Bucky gets the touchdown, though. Do you think um, Mike Evans is kind of just going to go the Larry Fitzgerald route where he's just going to, you know, stay in Tampa until he retires? I hope so. But yeah, I think like, so. Do you think he retires before he has a season with less than 1,000 yards? Hmm. I don't know. He's still so good and consistent, even though he's older. Because it seems like Chris Godwin is like, you know, setting himself up to be receiver one. Maybe. He's kind of lost a little bit of a step ever since that injury, but he's still like our workhorse. He's not really cut out to be like the deep threat type of guy. So like they play really well off of each other because Chris Godwin's more of a slot, you know, move around in the, in the uh, middle of the field type of guy. Gotcha. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm glad those two friends can be friends. Yeah, they're both working out together. It's real nice. Um. Anyway, so yeah, Buccaneers are back to three and one, one of the better teams in the NFL. That's right, Corey. Don't deny it. Speaking of good teams in the NFL, apparently the Commanders are um a top team. Yeah, it's crazy. You know what a what dude? Really, your man Dan Quinn. I miss him. Our yeah. defense used to work when we had him. You got you got yourself an exciting new quarterback. You got yourself. Uh, you know, a great coach who has taken, took the Atlanta to the Super Bowl and made the Cowboys, like, I think the number one scoring defense in the league last year. Like, it makes sense that he got himself another head coaching job and he's definitely doing some stuff with it. Yeah. No, apparently the team really likes playing for him. He's uh, doing some fine work over there. Shout out to Bobby Wagner, still doing the damn thing. Had himself a half a sack, a tackle for loss. You know, it's um, it's a team kind of with enough veterans in there and a couple of new young guys. Brian Robinson started to hit his stride with 20 carries this last game. <clears throat> I think Austin looking good, dude. is in there, isn't he? Or I guess he didn't play this week. He was injured. He had a, he had a concussion. I picked up um, John Robinson just because, I don't know, I felt like I needed a running back. He fucking went off for me, man. Gave me like 20 points. After that, I was like, you know what? hook up these redskin players like i picked up uh terry mclaurin also because he was just out there in the world i was like what he's got a receiver this? that just slinging it why wouldn't i want that guy on my team like i dropped brendan Ayuk for it just because i don't believe in Ayuk. he's wow. done nothing this entire time i've had him so he's he's off like apparently juan jennings is their guy now instead of Ayuk. so like whatever you know crazy Speaking of guys who don't have a guy, apparently Kyle Murray, um, yeah, wasn't able to get much done today. More of that the other day. Cook had a decent day, though. 108 yards, touchdown. Marvin Harrison continues to lead the boys in the receptions. Had himself a touchdown as well, so he's looking decent. Yeah. I mean, as far as rookie, rookie wide receivers, he kind of seems to be the guy. Well, actually, never mind. Malik, oh, Malik Neighbors neighbors. Is. neighbors. Yeah, Malik Neighbors is definitely the guy. <laughs> Dude, and the neighbors is going off. Um, uh, but yeah, Buda Baker with ten touch with ten tackles, four assists. It's a hell of a day out of your boy Baker. <clears throat> he's a he's a stud down there for sure. And man, with one field missing most of the year so far, it's been a bummer. One field's all banged up, Corey. It's very sad. I don't like it. Yeah. Not what you want. Not what I want at all. Four nine are finally get back in the win column, taking out the uh, New England Patriots, who are really starting to look like the team we all expected them to look like. You know, yeah, which is impressive. They were uh, doing as much with as little as they had. Yeah, agreed. Um, Madison gets off to 123 yards, one touchdown. He's a pretty good running back, dude. They found another stud running back down there. It makes you wonder. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Juwan Jennings continues to lead this team in um in receiving yards. Oh, they had Sam move back for this game too. <clears throat> 
I have but Jennings yeah. on my bench. I just don't fully trust him yet. I feel like he had that one game where he murdered everybody and he was free in the world. So I was like, all right, I'll take you, friend. And he hasn't uh, I haven't started him because they always tell me that Brenda Ayuk is going to get more play or yards or more points, I should say. So I don't know. I haven't, I haven't quite decided who's – well, now it's definitely going to be him because I dropped Ayuk. And then Fred Warner took an interception to the house. That was pretty cool. Nice. Love to see Yeah, it. just intercepted in the middle of the field and then just got up and ran it back for a touchdown. I did see that. Like, So there was somebody roasting Madden because he made a crazy one-handed catch like that in Madden. And they're like, this is so unrealistic. And then like that year he does it. And they're like, no, listen, you, you could definitely do that. We promise. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that that comparison. Dude, how the hell did the Chargers lose this? I mean, we were all hoping they could just hang on and win, but they – did not do they just scored no more points after the first quarter like it's just getting tiresome to see the chiefs just always somehow pull off this victory Justin herbert apparently couldn't complete a pass to save his life couldn't get the run game going with jk dobbins they're like just kidding about the run game we didn't mean it we didn't mean it um yeah dude this is just sad fucking god damn it i don't even want to talk about this fucking chiefs <laughs> That's really ridiculous. So now they're four and zero. Great. Three Pete, very much. What happened, Corey? It's terrible. Yeah, move. it's gonna be all right. You think so? Some, someone will take them down, dude. Like they're just their black magic can't work that well. Well, I guess I don't know. I guess you the kind black of want magic black magic to work on everybody. You kind of want black magic over having like one or two stars because the one or two stars could get hurt. Whereas if you just are like consistently killing people, but with, they like, have uh, stars and black magic is the problem. Point. It's kind of both. And a good defense. The good defense really does make a difference. Yeah. Anyway, Deshaun Watson um, continues to suck. They uh, this was a nibble fest, and the Browns. They scored 10 points in the first quarter and then did nothing the rest of the game. Um, I think I started talking about bringing in somebody else. They paid him so much money, though. They can't really, huh? Who's his backup? I don't know, actually. But I'm sure he's not good. Yeah. Probably Stidham, actually. Oh, I think it might be Winston. You're right. It is Winston. <laughs> yeah. Fuck and it. like there was, all, there, was all, there, was, there was all kinds of drama between um, Watson and his freaking offensive line this week, and I like he made one of them cry, but it was also like you're a grown man and you're crying. What's happening here? <laughs> yeah, it was all yeah. very weird. Um, Minshew didn't do much in this game, but apparently it was enough to get to win. Hey, listen, the beard power is something Dude, all you need. Madison gets 60 yards on five carries, whereas Zamian White, 17 carries for 50. That's quite a difference. They seem like they should just start giving Madison the ball more. Yeah, that's that makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, Adams was injured for this game, so Jacob Myers leads the leads the team with 49 whole yards. That's very exciting stuff. There. There's uh there's all kinds of scary rumors about <clears throat> um Adams going to uh to the Chiefs now that they have a hurt player or they, they don't they need a receiver. That would Adams be pretty did. terrible. That, that would it be, would be upsetting. That would be upsetting, yeah. Uh so yeah, the Ravens absolutely worked Baltimore in prime time. Bummer for Baltimore. Uh, apparently people are starting to get worked by this uh whole Derrick Henry, you know, running the ball with them thing. It's 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 scary. What? He's a large human that's really down. fucking fast. And then, like, Omar might run it on you. He might throw it on you. It's uh, it's pretty scary for these guys, apparently. Josh yeah. Johnson got in there and threw one, one yard completion. That's that's terrifying. <laughs> um, I saw this game with... Uh, I can't believe Josh Johnson's ranking. still in the league, dude. This guy was the backup to Josh Freeman back in 2011, Corey. And this is 11th or 10th year in the NFL. He's 39 years old. I mean, 38 years old. And he has pretty much been a backup and gotten in and played for just about every single team in the NFL at this point. He's the new, he's the new McCown. 
He's oh, new, he's been around magic. before McCown, like during McCown and like during the Fitzpatrick era. He's he's just been around, Corey. He 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 popped into the USFL for a while and came back. Like he's the Terminator. He just doesn't die. He gets around. Well, he probably doesn't take too many hits. He's a running quarterback a little bit. So yeah, he takes some hits, but he never but, gets out. I mean, there as a backup, back. like he's yeah, not he out there enough. Yeah. Do you remember the playoffs uh, a couple years ago? San Francisco had to play him. And he did terrible, and then he got injured, and they had to put McCaffrey at quarterback. I think I do remember oh, that. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't ever done like well Dude, uh, when he gets in there, which down, is why I'm kind of amazed that he's in his 11th year because he's never like been very good. I even remember a couple times when he started for the Bucks. It was like, oh god, can we get Freeman back? He might just be like a coaching type dude. Yeah, like he's he very up. locker room meshy type guy. I imagine. They um so in that game there was a missed field goal and that caused the over to not hit and uh Frankie was very upset about that. Oh no. Yeah, this game was also a nibble fest too. I thought Miami was gonna figure it out at some point, but they never did. Tyler Huntley just looked uncomfortable Tyler Huntley, all day. The uh the backup that used to be at the Ravens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now he's over here backing up from Miami and who knows we he might be about... starting for a little while. <clears throat> How that dude was a pro bowler that one year whenever Lamar was hurt. You remember that? Is he a pro baller? They they made him a pro baller the year that he was in for Lamar because Lamar was hurt. That's stupid. It, yeah, it was interesting. Twante A chain with 15 yards, rough day at the office. This was just this game made no sense. It was yeah. It was like a, a pillow fight between two old people who couldn't lift their arms. Will, Will Levis gets injured in his shoulder and then like they put in Mason Rudolph who I mean, did he look better? <laughs> so it was 85 for 85 yards. At least he didn't throw a t- an interception. Like, I guess that was enough to nibble out these. <laughs> like, dude, either of the dudes, well, all three of the quarterbacks who played in this game, yeah. maybe take Winston over all three of them. Oh, yeah, for sure. I absolutely would. I think you even take, like, Cooper Rush. I'm thinking about, like, other backups that could yeah. be doing better in this situation. But I guess that's why you gotta have a good backup because you don't want to be fucked if your dude is your dude goes down. Yeah, who knows if they start Mason again next week or if um you know if Will loves his shoulder fills out and they put him back in because it's just he's I struggle would, city. I would think that like Yeah another second year quarterback who's struggling Corey. I would think you gotta keep riding with a Will Levis just to see if you can forge him into something because Especially like made off show Mason showed you nothing. Right. Right. He's already, he's already seen what he is like. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, Gino Smith played a little hard out like 56 attempts is no joke, but they, um, they couldn't stop the lines on defense. Yeah. I, I think, um, they were – oh, look at this. So this is funny. So not only did Jared Goff set an historic, you know, day in the NFL, but being the only guy to attempt over 10 passes and complete every single one of them. But Amase Brown hopped in there and completed one too. <laughs> yeah. And now Jared Goff has more receiving touchdowns than a long list of veterans. Oh, no. He has more than Mark Andrews, more than uh, Travis Kelsey. More, like, I saw oh, this God. huge list of dudes. He has more receiving touchdowns. Than, and I was like, that's – that's brutal, but I love it. Hey, my boy Carlton Davis is a tackle for loss. That a boy Carlton. Um, but yeah, so the Lions defense. See, they ain't Hutchins to get another sack because he's uh he's been doing a lot of that sack and stuff. Let's see, no, yeah, no, no sack for Aiden Hutchinson. No, they, had, they had a plan for him. Doesn't look like any stats at all for our boy Aiden. I wonder if he got hurt. He's at the top there. And that's a Mark Robinson, Jack Campbell. Oh, you're right. I don't think he got hurt. I think he was in there. I just, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they had a plan for him. Anyway, um, the running backs feasted. You know, oh wow. So, so Marcus Brown threw a touchdown pass. That's pretty cool. So, three touchdown passes, three rushing touchdowns, and that was uh, enough to get the job done against Seattle. Seattle G-T. defense is super banged up. Everyone's all hurt and shit. Dude, uh, what's his name? Uh. Penny, Rashad Penny, I think. Mm-hmm. Running back from uh oh no, Kenneth, Kenneth Walker. Walker. That's what I'm thinking of. Get totally different name. <laughs> well, you Kenneth see Rashad Walker. Penny. 
Kenneth Walker, dude, just fucking not a factor at all until like late in the third, fourth quarter. And then all of a sudden he was like, hey, guys, remember like football? I, I'm going to play some now. And everyone's like, well, that's wild. All right, have fun. Like, dude, he gets tackled, rolls over the guy, does like some crazy handstand shit, and then gets the first down. Impressive. He, he was out there being a fucking ninja. Hmm. Ninja ass motherfucker in a ninja ass world. Well, anyway, Corey, week right. five is coming, and it's going to start with the Buccaneers on Thursday night. Let's fucking go. Exciting times. Exciting times indeed. Well, people, we hope you've enjoyed this um, information we've shared with you. We shared information with them, right, Corey? That's right. We made right sounds, and those sounds entered your brain, and now you've your heard brain. them. Now you've heard them and know some stuff about the NFL and about Carpu and how sad it is that the Ravens are out of the playoff contention. Really a bummer. Really Don't a bummer. That's why we got to leave right now and go to sleep. That's right. We're going straight from here to bed, people. So Sports by Compion, we're out of here. Um, Corey, do you have any last words for these fine folks who support our if channel? I've, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times, just eat more tacos. Dude, more tacos is absolutely the answer. Don't doubt.